A record number of trees are being ripped up by developers at the same time the planting rates are the lowest in nearly 50 years. Well, the Woodland Trust warns this is despite a pledge by the government to be the first generation to leave the environment in a better state than they found it, as Sally Lockwood reports. Ancient woodlands around the country have been a sanctuary to wildlife and walkers for centuries. But these beautiful spaces are under threat. A record number of trees now being ripped up by developers and replanting at a record low for half a century. Our vision is to plant around about three million trees across the city region uh, within a generation. That's one for every man, woman and child in Greater Manchester. Andy Long runs the lottery funded project restoring historic woodlands in Manchester. And do you feel that the onus is on you guys as volunteers to help fix this problem of deforestation? We know that it's very difficult for local government and other agencies to find the funds in these tight times, so we see it very much as our kind of challenge for the local area. Do you feel like it wouldn't happen without you? We feel there wouldn't be as much as um, if we weren't involved, yes. And the figures suggest Andy could be right. While most of the new planting has been done in Scotland, the Forestry Commission last planted trees in England in 2008. And the last time they planted a single tree in Wales, it was 1992, despite the government's manifesto promise of 11 million new trees in the five years to 2020. If we don't have really good baseline data, we really don't know how well we're doing. So the combination of poor planting rates, but irreplaceable ancient woodland being lost for projects like High Speed 2, but also 700 small individual cases of woodland being lost to planning applications right across the country. Um, so if we don't get a handle on that scenario, every tree that we plant may not even be enough to, to take the place of one that's being lost. DEFRA has reiterated the government's commitment to planting 11 million new trees. And while progress appears slow, volunteers here are taking it upon themselves to help with the shortfall. They know, if not properly protected, these ancient woodlands, once gone, would be gone forever. Sally Lockwood, Sky News, Manchester.